Welcome everybody to the Craniology of the Danganronpa timeline. This is a spoiler free guide and I implore the comment section to remain this way as well. Please, oh pretty please. This is a super spoiler sensitive franchise and I can't really monitor all of the comments at once so just be warned before you get into reading them. Anyway, my name is Misty Slosh Kanite, and if you've been dying to know how to tackle this monstrosity of a headache, you came to the right place. If this is the first Kranixiology you're seeing, I should probably tell you how I do things around here. If you've seen my Fate Stay Night timeline, my Monogatari one, or the Toaru franchise, you probably know how this is gonna play out, but I'll assume you're new to the script and I'll explain to you the concept. When it comes down to timelines, there is a few variants to keep in mind. There is usually the broadcast order, the chronological order of how the events unfold, and my personal recommendation at the end on which to tackle. If we were to cover the anime alone, this video would be 2 minutes long and it wouldn't quite clear the confusion people have about the franchise. Nonetheless, I will cover the anime's chronology, but as a heads up, there's more to it, a, lo a lot more to it. <laughs> So back in 2013, Danganronpa the animation came out. Most of people who are interested in timeline probably already experienced this one. Everyone who played the video game counterpart on PS Vita or PC will preach to you to high level how the game is leagues better than the anime. And well, while it does benefit from more character development, there's nothing wrong with liking the anime alone. Maybe you can't afford to buy the game, or you don't have several hours to put in watching a game walkthrough, that's fine, we're not here to judge. But the confusion begins after this one, Danganronpa jumped from 1 to making 2 Danganronpa 3. One called the Future Arc, and the other one called the Despair Arc. If you only care about watching the anime, you must know you will get some major spoilers from the second game that was skipped anime-wise. But again, let's say you don't care about the game, you should alternate between Future and Despair. So after Danganronpa 1, Episode 1 through 13, Future Episode 1, Despair Episode 1, Future Episode 2, Despair 2, Future 3, etc. You, you get it, you get it, you're smart. Once you're all done with Future and Despair, there's the special called The End of Hope Speak High School, Hope Arc. And finally, you should wrap it up with Super Danganronpa 2.5, Nagito Komaeda. That's the broadcast order and the one I would recommend if you're into the anime alone. The chronological order of the events would be nearly the same except this pair happens before anything else. If you came just for the anime order, this is it. You can close the video, you're all done. If on the other hand you're into the whole franchise order, this is where we get twisty. Let's cover the video game as they're the core of Danganronpa. The beginning starts with Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, first game who came out in 2010 on PSP, PS Vita, PC, PS4, Linux and also mobile. Following that was Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. It was a new cast and it's super important you played those two games before anything else, as many spoiler trickles down from these two. After that was Danganronpa another episode Ultra Despair Girl, it was a shooter-like action-adventure game. Now, for completionist sake, I should mention Danganronpa Unlimited Battle on iOS, but that was a Japanese exclusive, and Cyber Danganronpa VR Class Trial, which was a VR title for PS4. Both Unlimited Battle and Class Trial are not mandatory, but after that just recently came Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, which is basically Danganronpa 3. Not much change between the release order and the chronological one, except you could say Ultra Despair Girls happens between 1 and 2 but you should still play it after 2 cause spoilers again. So in the end I would go 1, 2, Ultra Despair Girl and 3. <laughs> That's the game's order, but wait there's more! There's also the light novels, arguably the less important of the mediums, only for the hardcore dedicated to the franchise but still pertinent as they provide additional character backstory. The most important one would be Danganronpa Zero. If you can only read one, go with Zero. Those events happen prior to Danganronpa 1, or also trigger Happy Havoc. There's also Danganronpa Kirigiri, which is the backstory, well, Kirigiri, the purple haired detective girl in the anime. Again, that would be before Danganronpa 1, but is very much optional. There's also Danganronpa Togami, this happens between the events in Despair and Danganronpa 1. And finally, the last one I would recommend is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc If. It's a what-if scenario that's incredibly touching and sentimental, but it's not canon, so only go for it if you're a hardcore dedicated to the franchise. 
So at this point, I'm assuming I've just confused the hell out of you way more with all these extra idols. But don't worry, I'll give you a clear path to go through. This was just the groundwork to make you understand how big the franchise truly is beyond the anime. I'll start by giving you the official timeline of the chronological events, and we're gonna end with how I recommend you to go in. The chronological events, and not the way to go about this at all, but you should know how things happen to start with. It begins with Danganronpa 3, Despair. Next is the light novel, Danganronpa 0, Danganronpa Kirigiri, Danganronpa Togami, Danganronpa 1, also known as Trigger Happy Havoc the game. Either the anime or the game, they're both the same story. I'm not here to be preaching and tell you to pick the game over the anime because it's more detailed, that's up to you and how you want to tackle the ordeal. Still in the chronological order after that is Danganronpa, another episode Ultra Despair Girl, Danganronpa 3, Future, and then the game Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. You still good? Hang in there, there's just a little bit more. If you're at the end of your wits and full of despair because you still have no clue how to go about it, here's the final answer of what myself and a fan of the franchise will recommend. This is the ultimate order. <laughs> that happens. The perfect way to go about this is you should start with Danganronpa 1. Once again, either the game which is outstanding or the animation. Many will tell you to avoid the animation because it's an awful adaptation in comparison to the game, but personally it's what got me into the franchise so I can't go around saying it's trash because I liked it. After Danganronpa 1 should be straight up Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. That's a game exclusive, no anime adaptation. Next you should go for Danganronpa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls. Follow that up with the anime Danganronpa 3, Future Arc and Despair Arc, again alternating between each one every episode, Future 1, Despair 1, Future 2, Despair 2, etc. After you're done, watch Danganronpa 3, the special, the end of Hope Peak, and the OVA that came after that called Super Danganronpa 2.5 about Nagito. And finally, end with the brand new game Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. That's it, not too hard, right? Again, I must stress how spoiler-sensitive this franchise is. People die left and right, so it's imperative you go in with an approach that won't ruin you some shocking plot twists. If you can afford to get the game, I recommend them for a better experience, but I know not everyone can. I think I got everything right. If I did a major mistake, please feel free to correct me in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Chronexiology. If you did, I'd be really grateful if you could leave a like. And subscribe, it's it's a lot of research to make sure I don't fuck up anything. <laughs> I do them once in a while too, to help clear out some confusing timeline. Maybe you'd like to check out the previous one I did. It's kind of the series I'm most proud of on my channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope I can see you all again next timeline. Turns have been on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change